Hey there, everyone. This is Illy, and I have back with me Dr. Annalyn Schooley. And today we are discussing uh, technology assisted distant supervision. So I have some notes um, so that we make sure to hit the important topics that we want to discuss and share with you as you uh, offer distant supervision um, to your supervisees and the clinicians uh, associated with you. Welcome, Dr. Schooley. Hey, it's great to see you back again. I hope people aren't getting sick of me yet. No, no, your your input is so popular. It's oh. your interviews are so popular. Well, so our topic for today, um, I don't want to date this blog post too much, but I think part of the impetus for this is the fact that we're, you know, most of us are working from home right now due to the coronavirus. But um, if you're viewing this, you know, way after the pandemic please continue to view it. These tips are going to be um, uh, relevant regardless. And so... Um, yeah, in fact, the majority of the tips uh, I developed long before the pandemic. So, so they, are, they are definitely not pandemic specific by any means. Right. Awesome. So let's, um, let's discuss a bit about technology assisted distance supervision and, um, you know, like in general, our experience on, and what Sure. Sure. So, you know, I've been, I've been teaching for Capella University since 03, I think, 2003, and probably started doing supervision 04, 05, something like that. So I've been doing video-based um, supervision for a very, very long time. Like I said, long before um, 2020. And um, so I've developed a lot of techniques for it, but one of the things we were really concerned about uh, as we were doing that at, at Capella is did uh, the supervisees, did the participants find it less effective or, um, you know, not as comfortable as in-person live in the same room supervision? So we did a little study, uh, did a, like a survey, um, and it was fascinating because we did a survey and we interviewed uh, some folks. And th what was funny is that the, the students or the graduates now could not tell the difference. In fact, I had to keep coming back to them. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is doing it on video conference. As far as they could tell, there was no difference. What was different is the person, not the format, not the electronic business. It, for them, it didn't, they had to be forcibly reminded that that's what I was talking about because mm -hmm. otherwise they saw no difference whatsoever. So I think uh, a lot of supervisors who have maybe done the vast majority of their work in person um, are uncomfortable because it's new and they maybe are unfamiliar with the technology and, you know, the power goes out and you, you know, you lose connection and stuff like that. You know, that, that's a bit annoying. Sure. Um, but, you know, the, the benefits I think are that students don't have to drive to your office or your home or wherever it is you do that supervision. They're much more likely to show up because they don't have that barrier of, of drive time mm -hmm. and distance uh, to get in the way. Um, you do get some interesting um, clothing choices, <laughs> shall we say. Um, uh, occasionally I'll have people who are driving and getting mm. supervision at the same time. And that always kind of makes me nervous. And I always hope that they get to their destination quickly. Um, and it's, uh, they can be somewhat more distracted, um, yeah. kids at home and all that. But, you know, that would be true of any environment in which you're, you're doing it from home. So, you know, th that's just kind of how it is. There's the, the good and the bad with that. Sure. Um, so um, I, I think that uh, distance supervision is here to stay, depending on the, um, the stage of supervision that we're at. So online schools are already doing it a lot because uh, that's the only choices that they have. Mm -hmm. um, I think under, under pandemics or other quarantine situations, um, and I don't just mean the global one we're under right now, but let's say uh, an intern is sick, mm -hmm. you know, with a plain old cold and you don't want them in the, in the room with you. They could attend that way and not miss. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so those kinds of things I think are, are beneficial. 